Hi guys, this is section 6.6, .6, which is parallel and perpendicular lines. You can see that I put some symbols for parallel, which is two straight lines, and perpendicular, which is like an upside down T. So when you see those symbols, that means parallel and that means perpendicular. Okay, for definition, parallel lines, they have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. If they had the same y-intercept, it'd be the exact same line. So if they have the same slope, for example, you can see here, 3 and 3. And if they have different y-intercepts, such as 4 and negative 2, it would look something like this. And you can see that they have the same slope, and therefore they're going to be parallel. Okay? Perpendicular, perpendicular lines, excuse me, is a little different. They have opposite reciprocal slopes, which means you've got to flip it and change the sign. So, for example, if I have 2 thirds here, the opposite reciprocal is negative 3 halves. So you got to flip it and change the sign. And if you look down here, line A is 2 thirds x minus 5. So I drew it already. Start at negative 5, go up 2 and over 3. You can see this line. This is line A. And line B starts at 1, and it goes down 3 and over 2. And you can see when I draw them, I form a 90-degree angle. That means it's perpendicular. Okay. Uh, here's another example. Y equals 4x. And the opposite reciprocal is going to be negative 1 fourth x. Okay, so you can see I did line A over here and line B there, and again it forms a 90 degree angle. So again, parallel lines, same slope, different y-intercept. Perpendicular lines, opposite reciprocal slopes. And it doesn't matter uh, what y-intercept. It could have the same y-intercept, it doesn't matter, because it would still come through, it would still be like that and it would still be perpendicular lines. Okay, so for parallel lines, the y-intercepts have to be different. Perpendicular lines doesn't matter. Okay, so here's the first um, thing I want to show you guys. Are these equations parallel? In order to tell that, we need to have same slopes. You can see the first equation, my slope is one-third. But the second equation is not in slope-intercept, so I cannot tell what the slope is. So I need to rearrange it into slope-intercept. So what I need to do is, and I'll do it in a different color pen so you can see. I'm going to minus x from both sides. And I'm going to get negative 3y is equal to negative x plus 6. Now notice I took down the negative 3y. Okay, so don't forget the negative. And then when I wrote this, instead of writing 6 minus x, I put the x in front so that it would be in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so ne next thing I'm going to do, divide each one of these by a negative 3. That cancels out, so I got y is equal to, and you can see there's invisible 1, so I can say negative 1 divided by negative 3 actually just becomes 1 third x, and 6 divided by negative 3 is minus 2. My new slope is 1 third for the second equation. First slope was 1 third, therefore, yes, they are parallel because they have the same slope, or I can just put m. Yes, they are parallel because they have the same slope. Okay? The next one, I have a couple different examples here for you. Um, write an equation of a line that is parallel and passes through the given point. So they'll give you this purple. y is equal to negative 2x plus 3 is your line. And they want a line that's parallel to that that goes through this point. Okay? Again, all I need to do is find the slope. My parallel slope is going to be the same as this. So my slope is going to be negative 2. My point is going to be negative 3, 5. If I have a slope and a point, I would use the point-slope form of an equation. Okay. So I just write y minus 5 is equal to negative 2, same slope, times the quantity x plus 3. And that's all there is to it. Okay. The book sometimes changes in its just slope intercept. You don't have to. If it says write an equation, you can choose any one of the three forms. You can go point slope, you can go slope intercept, or you can go standard. I would stop at point slope. Why do extra work? And why give you a chance of making a mistake? Okay, so here's another example. Same thing. But now I have to find the parallel slope. This one was already in slope intercept, so I could just look at this. This one is not, so I, have to, I actually have to do some work. So if I go 5x minus 3y equals 12, I need to minus 5x from both sides, get rid of that, drop down the negative 3y, 
is equal to, and again, I'm going to put the x first. I want to put the x first, so negative 5x plus 12. Sorry, I see a glare, so I'll change. Then I need to get y by itself. So don't forget to um, get y by itself. I'm going to divide by negative 3. Get rid of that, and now I'm left with y is equal to 5 thirds x minus 4. Now I have my slope. Okay. Now this parallel slope is going to be 5 thirds, and there's my point. So I'm going to go point slope. So point slope again, y plus 1, since it's a minus 1, so y minus negative 1 is equal to 5 thirds, there's my parallel slope, and then x minus 5. Okay. So again, all you want to do is find the parallel slope, use the point to give you, and go point slope for me. And that's how you do it. Here's homework check number one. Please write the same thing. Find the equation that is parallel to this that goes through that point. Okay, Parallel through this that goes through that point. Leave it in point slope form just like we did right here. Okay, the next one is write an equation of a line that is perpendicular and passes through the point. So it's going to be the exact same thing, except instead of parallel slope, I'm going to go for perpendicular slope. So I need to find a perpendicular slope. So all I do is look at this. This is the only thing I want to look at. And I find my perpendicular slope. If this is negative 2, my perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal, which is positive, 1 over 2. And I'm going to use the same point for negative 6. Point slope. y plus 6 is equal to 1 half times the quantity x minus 4. And I'm done. So it'll be pretty fast if they give it to you in slope-intercept form. So again, here's another equation like we did on the last one, the previous where they didn't give it to you in slope-intercept, so you actually have to do some work in order to get it into slope-intercept. So I'm going to rewrite it here. Negative 3x plus 4y is equal to 16. I'm going to plus 3x this time to get rid of this. I drop down my 4y is equal to 3x plus 16, and then I need to divide by 4. Again, divide all three of them by 4, and I get y is equal to 3 fourths x plus 4. Okay. Now I take this slope and I need to get a perpendicular slope. So I need to change it to opposite reciprocal so I make it negative 4 over 3. So my perpendicular slope to 3 fourths is negative 4 over 3. Here's my, here's my point, here's my slope, and I'm going to write my equation. y minus 8 is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 9. And I'm done. Okay, so these are pretty simple. You just have to um, know what you're doing. Look for the slope in the equation. If they don't, find your slope. Find the perpendicular slope and use the point slope form. Okay. Um, the next one is, it'll say, tell whether these lines are the equations of these lines. Okay, I got them in pairs. I got, a, I got a bunch of different examples. If they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Okay, they're one or the other. The first thing you do is just look at the... I'll use a different color pen. Look at the slope. If they are the same, excuse me, and they have different, I know they're this, these two are going to be parallel. Okay, and that, I'm using that, that's not 11, that's parallel. When I look at this, I have one third and three. They are reciprocal, so they are perpendicular, right? No, they're not. It should have been an opposite reciprocal. So this one is actually neither. Okay. Don't be fooled by that. It has to, so if it was negative, then it would be. Over here, I have negative one half and positive two, so these are perpendicular. Sorry, it should be a straight line. Those are perpendicular. Okay, real quick ones. Here are some tricky ones that could well could be a little tricky. Y equals four. Y equals negative two. Again, you could do a couple things. You could write it as y is equal to zero x plus four y is equal to 0x minus 2, 
and you can see that my slopes are the same, so it's parallel. The other way you can think of it is y equals to a number, if you remember, are going to be horizontal lines. Here's y equals 4, here's y equals negative 2, and you can see that they are parallel. Here's another one. If I graphed it, y equals 1 is here. x equals 8 would be somewhere here. So if this is my y equals 1, x equals 8. You can see that they are going to be perpendicular lines. Okay. Um, the last example I want to give you over here is, I'll leave it so you can kind of see. I, I need to find my slope. In these, I gave you the slope easy because it's in slope-intercept form. The bottom one, again, is not. So what I need to do is minus x, minus x, and I got 4y is equal to negative x plus 7. Once again, I put the x in front of the number. Okay. Then I divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. y is equal to negative 1 fourth x. Again, there's an invisible 1 there. Okay. Negative 1 fourth x. Make it a big negative, and then plus 7 fourths. When I look at this slope and I compare it to this slope, I have a 4 and a negative 1 fourth. I can see they are opposite reciprocal. Therefore, these lines are perpendicular lines. Okay? That's how you do those to tell if they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Um, my homework check number two for you is right here. Please write the equation of a perpendicular line. So the other the homework check number one was parallel. This one I want, I want the perpendicular line that is per, a line that is perpendicular to this that goes through that point. Leave it in point slope form again. Perpendicular line going through that point. Okay, hope this helps. Have a great day.